I'm hearing a name called Elizabeth. Elizabeth, come. I don't know. Did you come with your husband? Huh? Can we bring the husband? Thank you, Jesus. Can I speak with you people? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. I don't know. You're from Namibia? Yes. I was taken to your house. When I reached to your house, I saw how the enemy is afflicting you people. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. When I reached there, I saw a spirit that is entering in your house. Yeah. And this spirit is giving you people a disease. Uh -huh. huh? Right now, as I'm speaking, you, Elizabeth, you are very weak. You understand my point? Yeah, I'm always I saw, tired. I saw a marine spirit. Yes, it's huh? two, yes, it's two men of God. You don't dream yourself sometimes in the water? Yeah. Huh? Yes. I saw a marine spirit that sometimes it's like you'll be seeing yourself in the water. It's true huh? Yeah, it's true men And I saw a spirit that is entering the... This thing is the spiritual husband. It's true men of God. Huh? It's true men of and God. And now, as I'm speaking now, you and your husband, there's a problem. Allow me to speak. Can I speak? Yes. I saw a problem that between you and your husband now, there's no affection now. Very true. Huh? That one. Very, very, it's very like, true. It's like, according to me, if we people, you people, we don't pray for you, you can end up divorcing. It's very true, that one. Huh? It's very true, that one. But I want to tell you, because... This is this is a major problem in your yeah. life mm -hmm. because huh? uh, because if you were to do like uh, you know she sometimes start manifesting in the house yeah mm -hmm. she start to manifest and that demon has but allow me to ask you because the reason why I said marine spirit I was I was taken somewhere then I saw you inside the water what what what, what happens when you are there. Because I'm just seeing you, I don't know. Me huh? or her? I'm talking about the lady. Uh, huh? Most of the time. You don't see what you're doing there in the water? Uh, I don't remember most of my huh? dreams. I, I never used to remember most of my dreams. You don't remember? Mm -mm. I just wake up and it's blank, like nothing, nothing at huh? all. I never used to remember. Listen, I'm going to pray for you. Mm. But you need to pray, my sister, because when you don't remember, they are taking you more now. Okay. You understand me? Okay, man. And okay. right now, these people that are destroying your marriage now, as I'm speaking. It's true, man. To me, God. this man already wants to leave you. It's true, man. Huh? Sir? You want to leave this woman? Yes. Huh? Yes. Don't because, leave, uh, don't, huh? because I don't find uh, any more interest because there you was don't a time feel I... There's no interest anymore. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Yes. That there's no interest. For me, when I look at you people like this, there's no marriage here. Yeah. I'm telling you. Uh-huh. I'm not seeing any marriage now. But today, I, I want God to help you people. Amen. I'll pray for you, and this affection will come back. Amen. Amen. Because you people now, to meet like this as a husband, husband and a wife, is very difficult. It was it's very true. difficult. Huh? It's true, man of And God. more special on you. It's true, man of God. Because there's a spirit that this man is coming there to press you and sleep with you. So I'll pray for you, and God is going to help you. Amen. Because when I looked at you, this is your major problem. I don't know. I was hearing another lady called... I'm hearing another lady. I don't know. I'm hearing Mary. Mary. Mary, come. It's like when I, I'm speaking with this one, it's almost the same problem. Where's your husband? Has become. The reason why I'm calling you, uh, sir, the reason why I'm calling you, I'm, I had a lady called Mary, Mary. Yes. And when I was looking, I saw you coming from the side of Venda. Amen. 
Huh? Yeah. When I was there in Vendor, I'm seeing N D O U Ndo. I don't yes. know. Huh? Yes. You know Ndo? Yes. Huh? Yeah. yeah. The reason why I called you is because you people are having the same problem with these people. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. That when I looked at you and look at your age now, let's not allow Satan to divide you people. Amen. Because already to me, the enemy is planning to divide you. Amen. You understand me? Yeah. Yes. So I want to pray for your marriage also to stand because Amen. that's your problem. Amen. That as I'm speaking, when I was telling this once about the problem of the affection, it's exactly what is happening to you people. Amen. That you people, you no longer... I, I respect true. you. I respect you so much. So I don't know. I don't. Know. You, you must forgive me. So I, there are some things that I, I'm afraid to talk. Hey, Papa, I've already told us everything. Huh? Papa already told us everything. Give glory to God. So there is no need. Give to glory to God. <laughs> I was not there. I just came now. Now. So, but I believe God is going to help you today. So today he said I must speak everything. So, but I still I'm afraid. <laughs> Because you'll be seeing yourself on TV tomorrow. <laughs> so, but I'll pray for you. And I'll also pray for you, sir. But on your side, it's worse than these people. And I'll... Where are your children, Mama? The one is here. How does I hit home? Where, where is he? He's Come. We need to pray for your children. Because many of them, they are getting out of way. Yeah. Huh? If we don't pray for, for them, many of your children, they'll end up drinking alcohol. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Are you not drinking, sir? I do. Huh? I do. You smoke also? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So you want to leave? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. When was the last time uh, drinking? I don't remember. Huh? I think last month. Let me tell you, your problem is friends. There are many people that you need to leave. You need to, you know, cut ties from them. Yes. Because many of your friends, they're not good. Yes. And they're not living good lives. If you follow them like this, I'm seeing you sick. I'm telling you. You'll end up being sick. Because of you people, when you drink, you smoke from their ladies. Huh? Yeah. Because now they've given you a spirit of lust now. As I'm speaking. So I'll pray for you. I was seeing your children, Mama, that the same spirit that is fighting your marriage is even making your children to suffer. Yeah. I'm seeing your children suffering. Mm. Huh? I'll yes. pray for you, and I believe God will stand with you people. Amen. And the whole of your family will be saved today. Amen. And you, you must stop drinking. Yes. You must stop drinking, and God will help you. Huh? Yes. Are you studying? No. What are you doing? No. Oh, I was waking, but now. Huh? I was waking, but now. You're waking? What I happened? was. What happened to your job? Oh, I just quit. You just quit? Yeah. Oh. I'll pray for you, and God is going to help you. Are you hearing me? Yes. And please, if you continue like this, I'm not seeing you. you in the next two years, I'm not seeing you being fine. You'll be sick, and you'll die. So stop this issue of alcohol. Stop this issue of smoking. And all your children, Mama, there's an attack on them. Yes. Whatever that is happening to you people, is, is this attack, it even went to the children. Amen. But I'll pray for you. Your marriage will stand. Amen. And Baba, we need to pray. But we must be careful of high blood. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What is the meaning of your... Mm. Huh? And be careful because I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of disease on you. Come out. Come out. Mama. This attack on your husband is is very serious. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Oh my God! Come, sir. Are you a pastor? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. No, but I used to be a Friday 
church, huh? yes. Yes. You used to do what? I used to help a church before I went to Australia. I want to... There's a spirit of limitation in you. That's true. That, you know, I saw a spirit, that this spirit is fighting you in a way that you must never go where you're supposed to go. That's true. And when I'm looking at this, this is an ancestral spirit. Yeah, that's true. Huh? Yeah. I'm seeing, looking at where you're coming from, from, you, I mean, this, your forefathers, they were worshipping things. You understand what I'm trying to say? That's right. So now, this is a spirit of limitation, in a way that that's why even the issues of the ministry, it fell. That's true. Huh? It's true. I want to pray for you. I want God to restore you today. Thank you. Thank today. You. Yep. You understand what I'm trying to say? I said it. Because now, what the enemy is doing now, he even want to... Hey. Because I was just seeing a lot of struggles around you. That's right. Strug everything is a struggle. Huh? That's Where is true. your wife? Uh, she's still back home. Huh? Back in Australia. In Australia? Yep. We need to pray for you people. That's true. And I believe today, after today, God is going to help you. What happened? It fell. The church fell. And now I left. I left. It was when I left, I went to Australia. I couldn't have time to start again. You couldn't have uh, time to start again? No. Ah. I want to pray for you. And I believe God will help you today. Thank you. And let's pray against this spirit of disease Thank in you. your house. Yeah. Because it's like the enemy want to give you a disease. So I will pray for you and I will also pray for your wife. And I believe your marriage will also stand. That's right. And this, because I was just seeing the issue of, by the time you're still preaching, you had this thing which now the enemy is taking it away now, the issue of dreaming. That's dreams, true. dreams, dreams. Even huh? I had last night, huh? very, very big snake. You had a, you, you dreamed mm. a very big snake. Mm. It ran so fast. Listen, I will pray for you. This spirit, because I'm just seeing a spirit that's oppressing everyone. That's true. Everyone. So now, breakthrough will start by you. Thank because you. even where you are, they know it's a struggle. That's right. Huh? It's true. It's a struggle, and it will even take you to a point of thinking of going back home. Yes, I was huh? really trying to. You wanted to uh, go back home? Yeah, yeah, I was. Listen, I want to pray for you. You'll make it there. Thank you. You'll make it. Thank you. And I, I, I want God, from now on, I'll pray for you. God will tell you what to do. Thank you. You're free, sir. You're free. You're free. Are you a Christian, sir? Yes. From when? From India. You are a Christian? Yes. Come out! Come out! Lift up your hands. Jesus, my name. Come out! Come out, Wena. What are you doing here? Can you plug this? Can you plug this? What are you doing here? Huh? Huh? Hey, hey. What are you doing here? I want to destroy. Huh? I must destroy this you, marriage. You want to destroy uh, yeah, the marriage? I must kill this girl. You must kill the girl. Who yeah, are you? I must kill her. Huh? Uh, Who are you? Uh, huh? She belongs to me. She belongs to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? You don't have a name. Huh? You don't have a name. Huh? She must die. I'm saying you don't have a name. Can I speak your name? Who are you? Huh? The husband. Your, your name is what? She belongs to me. Uh, I'm saying, what is your name? You don't have a name. Uh, huh? I'm from the generation. So how, how are you destroying the marriage? Can you, can you speak that? How are you destroying the marriage? 
Huh? fiction. How are you destroying the marriage? No affection! No affection! Poverty! Huh? Setbacks. So, uh, wha how do you visit these people in the night? Uh, Talk. Yeah. When they are sleeping. They, when they are sleeping. When they, they are weak. They don't pray. I come and attack. That's it, don't pray. Do you pray? We sometimes feel like energy. But then afterwards, we don't play. Today, you are very strong to pray. They are home. <coughs> because the same spirit now is attacking the children. I felt so that. So you, you are healed. Eh? You are healed today. And the affection also will come back. Okay. Because you people, this is a, it's a serious problem. Amen. You understand my point? You're free. You're free. And even your children, they won't drink. Don't drink alcohol anymore. You understand? Because there are so many things that you're supposed to be doing. That's the reason why I was asking you about study. Yeah. Right. So, huh? So I will pray. Uh, as I've prayed for you, I believe your life will take another turn. He said. You're free, you're free. So, are you a Christian? Yes. From when? Namibia. From when? When did you start being a Christian? 2005, in prison. Jesus, mighty name. The reason why I'm asking is because I saw a spirit that this spirit want to torment you until you die. That's what I saw. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. That, you know, I saw somebody say there's nothing good that will ever come out of you. I don't know what you have done. I don't know. But I was just hearing a voice saying, I, you know, tell him that they are saying there's nothing good that will ever come out of him. That can be true so because now, I don't I, have nothing. Wait, wait, I'll tell you. Are you a pastor? Come. I'm trying to so that, you know, when I'm doing like this, so that you must not be bored. Because you're just saying I saw, not you, I saw, it's like, if we don't pray for you, the reason why I said, are you a Christian? I saw you going back to prison. You understand me? Yes. I saw you going back to prison. Okay. So now, we need to pray for you to prevent this thing. Thank you. You understand my point? Yes. So now, when I looked at you, I didn't see anything. I just it's saw true. somebody who's struggling. It's true. Huh? It's true. And many people now, they're starting to label you in a wrong way now. Huh? Come again? Many people, they're labeling you in a wrong way. They're gossiping you. It's like when you pass, people, they talk. Yeah, I can see. Huh? Yeah, I know. And others, they're saying, 
it's like you came out of prison by mistake. You're supposed to be there. Yeah, I was huh? supposed to be given, I was having four years, and I was supposed to be given uh, four years again. But when I go to the court, I That's what I'm saying. I had, I had people, they were sitting, they were saying, you, for you to come out of prison, it's a mistake. That's why I said, if we don't pray for you, I'm seeing you going back. And now, by this, this is the spirit that, you know, they want to make you to suffer for the rest of your life. Pray for me, men of God. You understand my point? Yes. Because right now, you don't have anything. It's true. Nothing. It's true. So, I want to pray for you. Let's prevent this thing. Because I just saw a spirit that has attacked you. Pray for me, so men of God. So that you must, you must be rendered as nothing. Pray you for me, man. Point? Yes, I understand. So now, one of the reasons why you became a Christian in prison is because your life was not good, sir. Yes. Let's not go into details, but your life was not good. It's true. It was not good. No? Huh? Yes, it was so not good. So now, I want to pray. For, I want God to help you today. Amen. And God is going to help you. Amen. Because to me, you did well by coming here. If not, you are going to go back to prison. Okay, men of God. You're free, sir. Yeah. Even you are free. You're free. You can go and sit down. You're free. Your marriage is restored. So I want to pray for you. Let's not uh, take you back where you're coming from. Thank you. You understand my point? Yes. I just want God to restore your life. Amen. Because I just saw somebody who's, I mean, ish. So you were given how many? Eight years? I was supposed to give in, yeah, eight. Was eight years. Be, yeah, I was supposed to be eight years. Huh? Yes. You're supposed to be given eight years in prison. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So I will pray for you because you only served, what, four years? Yes. Huh? Yes. You served four years. They're supposed to be eight. Yes. So I want to pray for you so that you must not go back. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. And you must be serious with your salvation. I try to be serious, but... Huh? I try. I fast a lot, but end of the day... It looks like the first I doing, there's no answer. Today, there's an answer today. Thank you, men of God. I try, I try, I try to try. I try to fast. I try a lot, but... No, no, you, you can't do it by yourself. Thank you, men of God. So you came here, uh, it was not a waste of time. Thank it you, It was for your life God. to take another turn. Thank you, so men I'll of God. So I pray for you. When you go back, everything will work out for you. Thank you very much, men of God. Because you have cried is enough, and you won't go back to prison. Thank you, men of God. Don't! 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 Jesus, mighty name. So I saw a ministry yes. that is not growing. Yes. Huh? Yeah. I just saw a church that is doing like this. Huh? That's true. That's true. So now, f when I looked at you, I saw a spirit of limitation. Yes. You understand my point? Yes, and you, you are suffering a lot. I want God to change all this situation that I'm seeing around you. Amen. Because when you're coming here, you're telling yourself, I want an impartation. That's right. And direction. Yes. Because of the ministry. Yes. And don't leave this ministry. You understand my point? Yeah. Because the way you've been facing struggles in your life, you know, it can even go to a point of you saying, ah, maybe it's better I stop. You understand me? That's right. We also need to pray for marriage issues. Huh? Yes. We need to pray for marriage issues because the enemies also are taking you on that side. That's right. Huh? Yes. Where is your wife? 
she's back home. We need to pray for that. Okay. If your wife can be able to stand with you in the ministry, you people, are, I, I believe you'll make it. That's right. Because I'm just seeing that unity is needed yes. in your marriage. Yes. God is going to help you. Amen. I'll pray for you. And I believe, because you've been crying for impartation, yes. you have got it today. Amen. As long as they prayed for you, me, I'm just going to polish. Amen. From there, everything is done. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, my dear name. Jesus' name. You, no more prison. No more prison. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. You'll make it in the ministry. My name is Elizabeth Ngifindaka. I'm from Namibia, and this is my husband, Jerobiam Ngifindaka. Today, you got the opportunity to see Apostle J.B. Makaranisa on one-on-one -on -one session. How was it? Uh, it was fine. It went well. Um, uh, he prophesied to me, and everything was fine. <laughs> what did he say to you? Um, actually, he talked more to my husband than me. <laughs> uh, he said that... Uh, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's come to the service. You attended a prophetic service and you were prophesied by Prophet Andres and he started calling your name. When he called your name, how did you feel at that moment? Uh, I felt great because um, I've really been um, wanting to be free for a long time. It, uh, it has been a difficult time uh, life for me because I've been um, falling and rising and I've been trying really to, to, to achieve a lot in my life, but I never used to, to manage. The man of God also spoke about the challenge that you're having in your marriage. What was really happening in your marriage? Uh, it, it, it was really a challenge. There have been uh, many battles. We, we have been fighting a lot. We haven't been understanding each other that much. And they haven't been really, uh, and he talked about the affection. They haven't been affection. Uh, it, it has been difficult, though we didn't understand what was really going on. Mm. And how did it affect you? It affected me spiritually, and it affected me uh, even the way I used to do my work. I just used to be tired most of the time, and I used to worry too much. I used to think too much. Most of the time, my brain is just tired. I think of this, I think of that, I think of that. I even used to think maybe the this marriage was not right. Maybe this has been, uh, this marriage was not from God, such things. So today you got the opportunity to see Apostle JB on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was it? Yes, it was very grateful, yes, to say. Why are you saying it was great? What did he say to you? Uh, actually, he addressed the issues of uh, me being called a man of God, and uh, I we spoke about the, uh, the ministry that have fallen down, even though we didn't get into detail that how did it come to that point of it going down and so. And um, we spoke about even marriage issues that we have been not understanding each other, but we, and I knew what was going on, but yes. There was no solution to me because I've been trying to pray there. Sometimes you are, let, let me say, today I can pray very aggressively, but tomorrow you fall again. And on this day you fall, you rise, and all those things. I came to understand, okay, maybe I need a higher anointing so that it can set me free so that I will be in a right path, straight one. The prophet of God went deep into telling you about he's not seeing you or he's not seeing this marriage. Do you, what did you understand when he said that? Because um, <clears throat> according to me, I felt like 
there was no marriage also that you can prophesy. Uh, hello, sorry. I can um, say that was true because inside me I felt like ah, I didn't marry her because sometimes he spoke about he, uh, let me just refer to the one he said he don't, she don't even use to cook for me you see I felt like why did I marry what is it there's no I just find no interest any longer because no I've just said no value uh, you know that's it after you have seen Apostle JB and you have had the voice of God do, through the prophet of God, how are you feeling right now? I feel blessed. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other men out there who have given up or who have lost hope in their marriages also? I, uh, all I can say is just uh, you must pray to God to direct them to the right people like here. And uh, they must not give up because once you give up, it means you give the opportunity to the devil to deal with you nicely. So by the grace of God, they must try to ask the grace of God to be upon them so that they can come and receive this kind of deliverance. And uh, they must understand this, that there are things that, uh, problems that are in their marriages, they cannot be dealt by not just everybody, but you just have to uh, reach the high anointing dead men of God and so. Uh, because, uh, yes, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Ma'am, today you were delivered when the prophet of God was praying for you. Did you believe that you had a demon? Or did you believe that the problem that you were facing in your life was caused by a demon? Yeah, because it's, uh, it's, it's been a while since I had that. Uh, I've been going around churches, and every time I go there, I used to manifest. They used to pray for me. I used to manifest. I was aware that I had a demon, and I knew that it was a spiritual husband. How are you feeling right now after your deliverance? Um, I'm feeling fine, because even when I came here, I, I had uh, pregnancy complications. I used to spit a lot. Now I don't even have the container. I had to carry a container with me wherever I go, or a plastic or something. But now I threw it away. I don't have it. The spitting has stopped. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? <sighs> Just to rely on God for, for everything. In, out of every challenge, there's always a way. God will make a way for for everything to, to end and just to have courage and confidence and of course to pray more since I never used to do that more. We believe that as the prophet of God and the man of God has, have declared a word in your life, you shall surely come back to testify the greatness of the Lord upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Juso Kadikwa from Namibia. Yes, I confirm the prophets to be true but the man of God prophesied to me that I was, uh, I, was, I, was, I, was supposed, I was supposed to be in the prison. I confirm the promise to be true that I was supposed to be given eight years, but just given four years. Then uh, by the grace of God, I, I repent there. When I go to the court, I talk the truth. When they, ask the, they just give me three months. After there, I come out in the prison. And uh, why they say also that I have nothing, I confirm the, the prophets to be true, that I don't have nothing. Mm. The man of God also said that you must be serious with your Christian Christianity. Yes. Confirm that. I, what was really happening to your life? To, yeah, to about that, sometimes you you think on your side that you are serious because the problem you don't know see in the spirit how as he said you see demon in me as it was manifest there mm, i thank god for the prophecy he really make me to to be know that it's not just to be to say you are christian 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 but i don't know what is inside in you yeah, I thank God for today that he can see and he deliver me. You also got the opportunity to see Apostle J.B. Makananisa on one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience and what did he say to you? 
Yeah, the man of God um, told me almost the same. What the uh, talk about the 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 the, the, the that I'm 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 I'm, I'm robbed. I see me I see me with a gun. Yes, I I the prophet's true because. Uh, when I, before I go to the prison, I was saving a gun and to rob people, money, and he uh, say, say, I don't have nothing. I confirm the process to be true, then he pray for me, yes. How are you feeling right now? I'm happy because uh, I, wa I was really, Try to be find someone to talk this kind of things in my life. Uh, I'm really happy because uh, it's not everyone can. I try to be you hear here prophet. You go there, you nothing. You go there nothing. But I'm happy for today that um, from here as they as they are told me that my life will never be the same again. Those they are they are saying I'm nothing, by the grace of God, the grace of God they come someone. I thank God for that, and I thank the men of God for that. Mm. As the prophet of God and the man of God have declared a word in your life, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I believe that the Almighty God today has done it for you in Jesus' name. Uh, to tell the viewers all over the world. Only I, can, only I can say it's better to make man to get money together so that we can reach where this real man of God can deliver us in the hand of the enemy. That's my advice. We give glory to Jesus for life. I believe that as the man of God and the prophet of God has, have prayed for you, you shall surely come back to tell us what God will be doing in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, but I want to pray for this, somebody who knows a lady... Who knows a lady called Orate? I don't know. Huh? Do you know a lady called Oratile? It's what? Is it a man? Come. But I'm just hearing Oratile. I thought it's a lady. It's a man. Oratile. Yes, Oratile. <laughs> I'm just hearing Oratile. I don't know. Huh? He's my boyfriend. <laughs> I want to I want to pray for you. Because when I was just hearing Uratile, I thought it's a lady because of the name. Okay. But I want to pray for you, my sister. I want God to deliver you today, which is the first thing. Amen. The second thing, I want God to give you a job. Amen. Huh? Amen. A job is something that you are crying for. Yes. It's a major thing that has brought you here. Huh? Mm. Huh? Yes. So uh, why are you laughing? <laughs> You're laughing because I, I'm saying what you came here for. Huh? Yes. So God is going to help you today. And another thing, it's, a, it's like the first thing is a job. Second thing, I want God to give you a marriage. You understand me? Amen. Because the enemy has been trying to play with you. Trying to play with you. And this thing, if we don't pray for you, it can, you know... It can continue like that in a way that, you know, the enemy wants you to grow until you become old. Because this thing now is a problem of the whole family. That you people to get married is a problem. Many yeah. of you, the issue of struggling is there, but also marriage is a problem. Yes. So I want to pray for you to get a job. And I want to pray for you so that uh, this man, I didn't know it's your husband, mm. uh, it's, your, it's your boyfriend. I just heard already, I thought it's a lady. But I'm also hearing a name called Tseho, Tseho, Tseho That's, That's huh? my name. Tseho Fatso. Yes. So Tseho Fatso, today, Reto Tseho Fatso. God is going to bless Amen. you in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. And let me pray for your brother. I don't know. Is is Rasmus or Rastas? I don't know. Huh? Erastos, come here. Erastos, Erastos, Erastos.
Come out. Come out. Stand up, stand up. After I pray for you, there's a job that is coming. You're hearing me? There's a job that is coming after I pray for you. God is going to give you a job. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. And we need to be careful. I'm seeing a spirit that is trying to sleep with you also. I'm just seeing a spirit where you're sleeping. The spirit is coming to enter there in the house there to oppress you. But you're free. Amen. You're free today. There's a job. There's a job. You're free. Your name is what? Erast Erastos? Huh? Erastos. Erastos. We need Erastos. to pray for your sister. Amen. Huh? Amen. We Perfect. need to pray for your sister. Amen. I'm, I'm hearing that your sister, your sister needs prayer. I don't know. It's true. Huh? It's true. I don't know. Is she, is she working? Yes, she's huh? working, I'm but... I'm seeing a job, and this job, is, she's not paid well. It's true. Huh? It's true. She's not even been paid at all. Huh? She started the work, but she's not been paid by now. She's not been paid. Yes, it's going to be two months now, but she did not Listen, get paid. After I pray for you, tell her that the money is coming. Amen. Amen. I receive. The money is coming. I'm seeing money that is coming to because I'm just hearing that she's working and working and working, but I'm not seeing anything. It's true. Huh? It's true, man of God. I'm it's not true. Seeing, it's like she's working for zero. It's true. It's so true, man of God. I want to pray for you, and I'll also be praying for this sister that it's I'm seeing. It's After true. I pray for you, there will be a breakthrough in both you and your sister's life. Amen. You amen. understand me? It's because true. Because even true. you, you are struggling too much. Yes, yes. You I, I don't even point? have a job. Yes, I want to yeah. pray for you amen. to get a job also. Amen. But your sister, yes. I'm also worried about your sister. Yes, but yes. But today, 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 all these doors are open today. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Amen. God amen. is going to help you and God is going to help your sister. Amen. Amen. Because amen. you people, you are suffering. You are struggling too much. It's, it's true, so man. You are healed. You, you are healed. Come. My sister, I saw something. I don't know. I don't know. Say, we need to pray for healing. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because I saw a spirit that is eating your blood. Amen. Huh? Amen. You went to the doctor? Did you go to the doctor? Uh, not yet. Why? I used to go, but uh, I never even admit in the hospital. But only my, my sickness is only when I feel a headache. When you feel what? A headache. A headache? Yes. I'm just hearing is that there's a spirit that is eating your blood. And this is the spirit that is fighting your house. Amen. You understand my point? Where is your wife? In Namibia. Huh? In Namibia. We need to pray for both of you people. Amen. Besides the issue of struggling, I'm just seeing a spirit that is eating you. That is true, man of huh? God. I, I, I confirm it's true. Because you, according to me, if I don't pray for one day, you'll fall and die. Because sometimes when you're standing like this, you feel weak. That is true. Huh? It's true. Baby. You feel weak. Amen. So I'll pray for you today and you'll be fine. Amen. You heard what I said? Mama, come here. Do you see well? Yes, man of God. Huh? I see him. Huh? I can see well. But we need to pray for you. Yes, man of God. And what's important also, I want to ask, where, is your, where are your children? At, at the home, Namibia. Huh? At the home. We need to pray for your children. We also need to pray for you and your husband. He's true, man of God. Huh? He's true, man. Because I saw a spirit also. It's like you people of Namibia, you've got one spirit. I'm telling you. You're also from Namibia? Even you? Huh? Oh, you're from Namibia. You people of Namibia, it's like you're traveled by one demon. So I want to pray for you because I just saw a spirit that is entering in your house also. 
Amen. And this spirit is making you people, you and your husband, to fight now. You understand? Not to be in good terms, you and your husband. And there's a problem that they want to make you people also to lose affection. Oh, it's true, man of huh? God. It's true. So uh, it's like, that's why I said it's like you, people that came here of Namibia, you've got one problem. So, but I believe when you go back home, this, this is your last bus stop. Amen. Thank you, God Jesus. is going to help all, all of you. Amen. And I believe there will be a breakthrough also in your marriage. Amen. Thank you, because Jesus. Because you are having that problem also. Yes, man of God. I'll pray for you so that this, I was just saw a spirit that is trying to come then try to sleep with you. Amen. Huh? Amen. I'll pray for you. And another thing, do you have a girl? Yes, I have two. Huh? I have two girls. You have two girls? Yes. These are the only children you are having? I have two boys and two girls. Let me pray for you, and I believe God will help you also in this situation that I'm seeing in your house. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Thank you, man of God. And let's pray against a disease in the house. Amen. Because I'm just seeing that there's a spirit that is turning around your house. Yes, through man huh? of God. Trying to make you people first, you know, to be, to be confused with everything. Yes, it's through man I'll of God. I'll pray for you, and there'll be a breakthrough. Amen. Come out. Come out. And these girls that I'm seeing, I just saw a girl, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the age. We also need to pray for these girls. You understand me? Amen. And God will be with them. Amen. Jesus, my name. Touch you. You're free. You're free. Go and tell your sister that money is coming. Amen. You heard what I said? Amen. And you will get a job. Amen. Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Push him here. Jesus name. And you say you are healed, sir. Amen. You are healed. You know, you don't drink medication? Huh? No. Huh? No. I, I confirm the, the sickness is for my, my daughter, the last born. She was in four months, almost five months in critical condition, in ICU, in uh, a private hospital. And she was suffering a lot. And by the grace of God, You she's... people, there's a sickness in the house. That is the, very true. Even you. God. That's why I said there's a sickness in the house that is trying to kill someone there. Amen. No one will die there. Amen. No one will die in your house. Jesus' name. You're free. You're free, sir. You're free. Tell your sister my name is coming. Even you, uh, you'll get a job. Uh, my name is Tsukhofazo Mokashani. I'm from Ranfontein. And the prophecy that I have received today is true. Yes, I've been looking f for a job because the one that I have right now doesn't pay that much. It's like I'm volunteering. And when it comes to marriage, uh, I was once engaged to the same guy, but you know, sometimes the devil has his ways to destroy what God uh, uh, built together. But, and, but last year I prayed that if the man that I'm with is the man that God uh, wants me to marry, he will come back in my life. And yes, he did come back. And early this year, he told me that he wants to marry me. 
And also tell us about the issue of your job. Uh, you looking for a job for how many months or years? Yo, many years. From 2012, I think. It has been too long. The prophet of God kept on emphasizing about marriage and your job. You personally, how did they affect you? They affected me a lot because the little that I'm in right now, I, it doesn't like do much. I have to take care of my daughter, take care of myself and of my mother too. Yes. And also the prophet of God mentioned your name at that moment when he spoke about your name to show that what he's saying is from God. How did you feel? I felt great because, you know, sometimes out there you, you find false prophets, but when the person calls your name without knowing you, you, you feel like, yes, this is where God is right now. Yes. And you also got the opportunity to see Apostle J.B. Makanisa on one-on-one -on -one -on -one session. How was the experience? What did he say to you? Yeah, the, ex the experience was great, and he told me the same things that uh, Prophet Andres said to me. Yes. And what are the other things that he said? Uh, he prophesied about my cousin, Teboho, that he's doing some wrong things. We need to pray for him. And jealousy in my family that is delaying my marriage. And oh, there's a lot that I can't remember them all. Yes. And let's speak about your cousin. Is it true what the man of God said? Yes, it is What true. is he doing? He's drinking a lot and he's working, but he doesn't know what he's working for. Because when it's month and it's like, he's not working. Yes. Right now, as you heard the voice of God through the man of God and the prophet of God, and you're confirming that in each and everything that they said, it is true. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. I feel blessed. And I feel like the things have been offloaded off my shoulder. Yes. There are many people out there who still don't believe in prophecy or who still believe that uh, people are bored in order for prophets to tell the prophets and today you have just confirmed that for a prophet to call your name you just felt that indeed it's god speaking what are the words of encouragement that you can give to other people out there who still don't believe uh what i would like to say to the viewers is that uh, they should always trust god they should kneel down they should pray they should never trust an outsider the person who comes and tells how, you how to live your life, but always rely on God. Amen. Uh, my name is Lavin Yashikoyeni. I'm from Namibia. And I'm here to confirm the prophets from the men of God that there is a soul, uh, the spirit that he used to come into our house just to separate disease and many attacks. It's true because some... Most of the time, we are always complaining about the sickness, especially me. Even when I came here, I came with the pain in my womb. And that thing also caused the miscarriage last month in my life. And also to my husband, he's also having a complaint about the, the heart burning. He's always burning in the heart. Amen. Uh, the man of God also said that when the spirit comes, it makes you and your husband to fight. Is it true? Yes, we end up sometimes quarreling in small, small things, but yeah, just misunderstanding then by the grace of God we came to with a solution. Amen. The prophet of God also spoke about your two daughters. Tell us about that. Yeah, I've got two daughters. Well, the first one is 14 and the other one is nine years old. And um, he said they need prayer. Amen. What do you understand by that? When he said they need prayer, what are the things that you have seen that indeed what the man of God is saying is true? Yeah, I confirm because uh, the one that is big, uh, is she, she was complaining about the novel. She was painting here in the novel. And sometimes when we are going to church, we have to force her. Sometimes she don't want to go to church. She just want to be alone in the, in the house. Amen. And how are you feeling right now that the prophet of God was able to locate not only you, but also your family? Amen. Um, I thank God and I'm very happy. Even as I'm standing here now, I can't feel the pain here anymore. So I, we receive our breakthrough and 
solution to every problem that we have been facing in our in my marriage. Amen. At most times, you would see Apostle J.B. Magadisa on TV, on YouTube. But today, by the grace of God, you were able to see him a few steps away from you. How was the experience and what did he say to you? I really thank God for the day of today. We have been watching him on YouTube. And by the grace of God, what we used to see him doing on the TV is really what he's doing alive. Amen. We thank God for his life. Amen. What did he say to you? He also prophesied to me that um, I'm passing through many challenges. Like he saw also that miscarriage that I, that, uh, that I passed through and I confirmed to be true. And he also um, talked about the the the, uh, the 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 attack that the, the, he saw attacks that some people they don't want our marriage to stand so they want us to separate with my with my husband and I confirm to be true because wherever we go especially to the men of God they used to prophesy the same prophecy Amen How are you feeling right now after the prayer I I'm feeling very well and I'm happy because. That prophecy came, uh, brought the, the, the solution to my problems and freedom to my marriage. Thank you, What Jesus. are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Is I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you today in Jesus' name. My encouragement to them is just to believe in God and to the right time of God. And I want to encourage them that whenever they are facing challenges, they must ask God to make a way for them to come here at Charis, where we, we, where we get our solution. They must also come and get their own solution to their problems. Amen. We Amen. give glory to Jesus for life. How are you, sir? Fine, madam. I'm also fine. Yes. Where do you come from? I'm from Namibia. There is a spirit that is following you, that is monitoring every single thing that you do. Are you aware of it? That is true, madam. Because when, when you were sitting there, I saw that there's a spirit that is actually tying your hands. And exactly. Actually, there's nothing that you lay your hands on that goes. It's as if when you lay your hands, whatever it is that you have touched, it dies immediately. That is true, madam. I can confirm that. Mm? There is no progress in my career. Mm, I, I have been uh, in... Oh, wait, uh, wait. Okay. Like my husband said, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> Let me finish my story. Okay. Then you will say your own part of the story. Because what I saw is that your hands are caged. That's what I'm saying. Every single thing that you lay your hand, it dies immediately. You know? You have tried, because I saw that you have tried a lot of things to do. It's not only you, but also in your family. Amen. Hmm? And this thing is called by, it's caused by an idol. You people a long time ago you used to do idol worshipping. I don't know if you know about it. Do you know about it? I don't know, woman of God. But what has been happening to you? It's also happening to your family and your extended family. And it also happened to a generation before your own generation. Uh, that is true, man of God, uh, woman of God. There is no progress. Because uh, another in, thing that I want family. us to pray for, it's a job so that there will be enough income. That's true, man of God. Where is your wife? I'm not married. I'm asking you where is your wife because I was asking myself where is your wife because I see you standing alone. That's true. And the ground God. that you are standing on, it's, it's like a, sh a shaking ground because although there is this struggle in the family, you people, you also fight one another. That is true. Hmm? Because right now, as it is, I'm seeing your family fighting you. That's true. And now the spirit, it also causes you to, to be scattered everywhere. 
We like, are scattered almost all over. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It causes you to be scattered everywhere because you think if I can move from here and I, I move somewhere else, my life will be better. That's true. And the same spirit still follows you where you are going. Exactly. Huh? That's Am I true, right? Man. You are right to man of God. Confirm what I'm saying. Come. Mm, that's true, man of God. You said uh, we are scattered all over. I have been moving all around Namibia uh, looking for to try green pastures. To green pastures, but don't worry Currently, today. Currently, I'm working in Congo, Brazzaville, uh, and things are not going. Things are not moving at all. God is going to set you free today. Amen. Mama, the same thing that is happening to my brother, it's also part of your problem. Where are your children? Uh, some are at, uh, all of them are at Namibia. Yeah. Because what is troubling my brother, it's also part of your problem. Even where you are, there is no way out for you. Huh? Yeah, and then now your prayer is that because now you have grown, you, you are older, you want God to at least open doors for your children yeah, because true. they are also struggling. Yes. Huh? Yes, woman of God. Another thing I want you to pray for, I want you to pray for sickness. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because now your heart is being affected. Yeah, it's true. I'm having high blood pressure. Yes. For now the enemy is targeting your health. It's true. Mm? He's using this thing of stagnancy in your family to get to you, and now he has targeted your health yes, true. for you to die before your time. Because I even saw that there, there was a time that you dreamed yourself dead. I can't remember. No. But there was a time that you dreamed, I'm seeing that there was a time that you dreamed yourself dead. And you prayed that God, my kids are still young. I don't know how old your kids are. Mm, the, the last one is 26 years. Yes. I'm hearing you pray and say, God, my kids are still young. I can't go now. <coughs> so we, we are going to pray so that this stagnancy will leave your family. Amen. And you get to eat the fruits of your labor. Amen. Mm? Thank you. And this disease that is in your body, for God to heal it. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because this hypertension, it's now affecting your legs. It also affects your back. Yeah, it's true. Hmm? Yeah, my back. Is... And now it's also affecting your rest. Your rest, I mean, when you asleep at night. Yeah, it's true. Because sometimes I wake up during the night with difficulty in breathing, heartbeats. And I won't be there. Amen. So God is setting you free today. Amen. Lift your hands in Jesus' name. Out. Out, your spirit. In Jesus' name. Mama, you are free. My sister, come. Where is the person who wants to marry you? At the moment, I'm single, so... You are saying? At the moment, I'm single. I saw disappointments mm -hmm. around you. That's why I'm, I'm asking you, where is the person who wants to marry you? Mm -hmm. Because people come, and when it's time to mature, disappointments comes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Uh, yes. Mm? Uh -huh. And another thing we need to pray for you, it's a spiritual husband. Yeah. Mm? I've been praying, prayed for, for that, yeah. You've been prayed for already for that? Uh, when I came in this church. Oh, you mean when you came here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to pray for you for a spiritual husband. Okay. Because it's also affecting every single thing about you. Mm -hmm. Because you should be married by now. Yes. Mm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In spite of marriage, I also saw an issue of a business uh -huh. that you should have already started by now. That's so true, yeah. But it's, 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 it's not happening. Exactly. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. It's, it's not working. 
yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. When you live here, where, where is your sister and your mother? Uh, my sister and my mother live in France. And so uh, before I came here, I was with them. They are, they are in France. Can I tell you why I'm asking you? Sure. It's like this thing of a spiritual husband, mm -hmm. it's a generational curse. Okay. Because it's not only you. Uh -huh. Even them. Wow. They have the same problem. Oh, no. Mm? Mm -hmm. Because your sister is also struggling as much as you are struggling. Is your sister married? No, but she, she has a handicap, my sister. She's not married. Yes, She's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, what you are experiencing, mm -hmm. it's what they, have exper they are experiencing. Wow. So this thing, it's a generational curse in your family. Mm. That we believe that today God is going to set you free. Amen. Huh? Yes. Me and my, my sister and my mother. You, you the whole family Amen. is going to be set free Amen. in Jesus' name. Touch your chest. Did you go to the doctor? Uh, yes, yes. And what did the doctor say? Um, they couldn't find anything wrong with me. But do you have a thing here in yes. your stomach? Yeah, huh? like here. Yes, here. Pain, yeah. That causes pain. At times, it's as if it becomes as hard as a rock. Yeah. This oh, place. Pain. Mm? Yeah. Because of the pain. Yeah. God is healing you in Jesus' name. My sister, you are free. Go and get married. Come, no, come. You. Sorry, I'm coming. Let me pray for you. No. Lift up your other hand. In Jesus' name. My brother, you are free. Can I talk to you? Yes. Let me ask you this question. Do you drink alcohol? Yes, I do. I'm asking you because I saw you in a group format with people drinking alcohol. Okay. And I heard that I should tell you that you need to give your life to Christ. Because as it is now, alcohol has already damaged your body. Okay, I wasn't really aware. Are you hearing me? Yes. When was the last time you went to the doctor? Oh, I haven't went to the doctor. You haven't went to the doctor? Yes. I'm asking you because you normally have a pain here. In your stomach, let me show you on your own body, here. Oh, yes, yes, mm? yes, yes. And this thing is because your, your liver is already affected. Are you hearing me? Yes. This pain that is here, your liver is already affected. And if you continue in this manner, very soon your family will bury you. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I want you to change from these ways and you give your life to Christ. Are you hearing me? Yes. So yes. that God will, will restore you back to what you used to be. Yes. Hmm? Because bef before you started this habit of drinking, you were a very intelligent young man That's with a promising future. That's correct. Huh? That's correct. It's just that something happened that has hurted you. Huh? And in that process, you met wrong people. That's correct. Am I right? Correct. And these people are the ones who introduced you to this lifestyle. Totally correct. Hmm? Totally correct. So I want you to forgive Are you hearing me? Yes. I want you to forgive. 
when you do that, you are releasing your own self. Your doors will be opened. I get You hear? Yes. And then you cut ties with these people because they are doing you no good. And there's nothing good that they are bringing in, there, in your life. Hmm? Because I'm seeing that you're a person who wakes up with a bottle, you go back to bed with a bottle. Mm, yeah, I was like that before. Back then. Back then? Yes. And when did you stop? Uh, uh, let's say two years back, I wasn't drinking that much. But you're still drinking even now? Uh, in, but uh, I think I have almost two, three to four months without drinking. Without drinking. Yeah. I want you to give your life to Christ. Yeah. You hear? Yes. And when you do that, you will get a job. You will be a prosperous person. You will be an example in your family. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because the dreams you, you, to, you used to have, now they have faded away. And to you, it, it, you are at that point of saying there is nothing good that is coming out of you. Yes, I was mm? starting to be like that. Yes. yes, because I'm seeing you sitting down asking yourself a question. But what? Are you vendor speaking? Yes, I'm vendor. Yes, because I'm actually hearing you say, Marandiko Chire Ramini. That's why I'm asking you, are you vendor? Like, what am I living for? Am I right? Yes, yes, you are right. So I want you to give your life to Christ. You yes. cut ties with these people, but most importantly, forgiveness. I'll do that. Release these people from your heart. Forgiveness. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. And God will restore you. Can I pray with you? Thank you. Place your, heart, your hand here. Lift the other one. In Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Bring him back. Bring him back. Come back. Place your hand there again. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Out! Hold him not to go back. Push him back. Out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My brother, you are free. Don't forget what I said to you. Give your life to Christ. Say, please come. What else is left? It's you, man. Are you a pastor? You are not a pastor? Yes, but I'm a church elder. You are? Church elder. Church elder? Yes. But I'm seeing that you have an, do I call it ambition? Or a zeal to become a pastor? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Can I say something to you? Yes, welcome. I want you that when you go back home, yes. go and fully submit. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And sit down uh -huh. and listen to what the pastor is saying. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because there are a lot of talkings around you. Amen. Hmm? Amen. And if you listen to these people, they're going to lead you astray. True. Hmm? True. So I want you to go back home, sit down, mm -hmm. submit yourself. Mm -hmm. Whatever the pastor says, please yeah. open heartedly do it. Amen. God will reward you for it. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because the way I'm seeing it, yes. you have been in this yeah. ministry for a long time. Yeah. Hmm? You are a pillar. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing mm -hmm. in this ministry. Now it's time for God to bless you for what you have done for him. Now people have started talking, mm. saying you can do better by yourself. Yeah. You will not do better by yourself. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
these people that are saying to you, you will do, because I'm saying people say, yes, you, it's like there, there's this group of people, you know, when there's fire, yeah. they don't bring firewood to the fire. Yes. They stand from a distance and mm -hmm. tell you how the fire is burning. Yes. That's the type of people you have around you. Yes. You, you know, because some of them, they even tell you, you preach better than your pastor. Yeah. It's a lie. The devil is using them to destroy you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So please go back home, sit on your chair, serve God like never before. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. Listen to what your pastor is saying. Do what exactly what he's telling you. Amen. And God is going to reward you. Amen. And get away from these people. Yeah. Where is your wife? Back home in Malawi. Back home in Malawi. Yes. You know what else what these people are doing? Uh -huh. They've now come with a spirit in your family, in your house. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That is now. These people are now between you and your wife. Mm. Yes, yeah. And if caution is not taken, your yeah. wife is going to leave you. Yeah. Do you know that? No. You don't know that? Yeah, I do know that. If you are not careful, mm. your wife is going to leave you. Because even when she sits down and she tries to show you some things, yeah. you feel like she doesn't see what you are saying. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Am I lying? Yeah, true. It's, it's like she doesn't understand what you are understanding. It's yeah. like she's not seeing things from your perspective. Mm. And the truth is she's trying to bring you back mm. into the way because you had already mm. branched out. So when you get home, get rid of these people. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Tell yourself if there's mm -hmm. anything God wants to tell you and wants to do in your life, mm -hmm. the men of God in front of you yes. will let you know. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because if you continue this way, uh -huh. you're going to start a church which is not supposed to be there. Yes. Because it will, you will now feel like this man is now jealous of you. Yes. Huh? Yes, that's true. And others have already started saying mm. that this man is jealous of you. Mm. If you want to see what they are saying, it's a lie. Look at their own ministries. Yeah. And you tell me, is this how you want to end? Because even feeding for them, it's a problem. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. And they are close to you because they want to eat by you. Yeah. Am I lying? True. Don't you give the money for groceries? Do. You do. Mm. Was I there? Mm. I mean, was uh, I in Malawi when you were giving the money for um, groceries? No. I'm here in South Africa. Yes. So please get rid of these people. Mm. They are there to mislead you. True. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You go do what you have been doing. Mm. Because remember, remember the vision you had yes. when God told you to take care of this man. Mm. Do you remember? Are you still taking care of this man? Yeah. The way God, the way you were doing it before, yes. are you still taking care of this man? No. The truth is no. Yeah. So take, you see now these people are making you to yeah. get away from what God has told you. Yeah. Go back to your church. Yeah. Continue taking care of this man. Yes. God will take care of you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You are free. You don't need prayer. You are okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Another one. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Mama, where is your husband? Namibia. You're also coming from Namibia. Yes. You people of Namibia, you should seriously pray. There's a demon in Namibia of divorce. Mm -hmm. hmm? Of separation. I really hope you can go home and you pray about this. Because everybody, it's like everyone who says, I want God. Their marriage has to be tempered with, including their lives. Okay. You said your husband is, is back home. Yes, Namibia. In Namibia. Yes. How many of you are from Namibia? 
So almost all of you. Okay. Mommy, I want you to go home and pray for your husband. Okay. Hmm? Okay, I mean, a woman of God. I want you to go home and pray for your husband. Okay, woman of God. Because there is a spirit that wants to kill your husband. Do you know that? No. You didn't know? Mm -mm. There is a spirit that wants to kill your husband. You people in, in your family, when you reach to a certain age or certain level in life, it's either the husband dies or you become a divorcee. Maybe I don't know. I cannot remember. Hmm? Maybe, but I cannot remember. Not in your family. Mm -hmm. In your husband's family. You are also part of his family now. That's what I'm saying, in your family. Oh, okay. Not from where you were born. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. Where you are married. When you people reach a certain level in life, mm -hmm. it's either you divorce or your spouse dies. She wants to confirm. Huh? Is she your mother? My mother-in-law. Oh, you are her mother-in-law? Yeah. Praise God. Amen. If I'm lying, she will say I'm lying. Yeah, I know. I confirm it's true. Because in our family, so many, we are, some are divorced, some are widow. Are widowed. Yeah, like me, my husband passed away. Yes. Now you see what I'm telling you. So you need to go home and pray for your husband because now the same curse has wants to happen in your husband. Okay, woman of God. Mm? Okay. Because I'm seeing that there are times that you feel like he's he's not here. When Sorry? With, there are times when you are with your husband, mm -hmm. you feel like he is not here. I wish your husband was here. And there are times that when he's alone, he feels like he's losing his mind. Maybe. He never told you. you when, please, when you get home, mm -hmm. are you hearing me, Mama? Please, when you get home, ask him about it. Okay. And pray for your family so that this case, the one that Mama is confessing, mm -hmm. must not fall on you. Okay. You are still very young for you to, live, to lose your husband. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. The other things that I told mom, because I'm also seeing the thing of stagnancy. Stagnation? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Uh, Self-employment business. Eh? I'm doing business. You are doing business. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. I'm asking you this because... I saw you opening your hands and it's like you were giving out. But whatever you have sent out, it doesn't come back to you. Yes, hmm? it's true. It's like you are, you are always handing over, handing over, handing over, handing over. But whatever you hand over, it, you don't receive it back. Yes, it's true. And now this, this is making, it's, it's like it's draining you dry. Mm. It's true, woman of God. Hmm? It's true, woman of God. And, and now it's even hard to take care of things in the house. Oh, yes. Including your children. Yes. Hmm? Yes, woman of God. We are going to pray God is going to do something. Amen. About this situation. Amen. I believe when you come back, you will come back with a testimony. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Your spirit. Out. You are free. In Jesus' name. Uh, my name is uh, Manda Konjashiri. I am from uh, Namibia. The woman of God. Uh, uh, my name is Manda Konjashiri. I am from Namibia. The woman of God uh, prophets said that uh, my family is scattered and it is true we we, we hardly communicate uh, everyone is live, uh, living by his own 
my self calendar i'm not even in i'm not even working in namibia i'm based in uh, congo brazzaville um he, he also uh she also said my hands are, t um, are bound or are, are, are tight and that is true i have tried many things um, I, I have even tried uh, uh, different kinds of investments, and uh, there was no progress. And uh, currently, I'm working as an, ins as an instructor of agriculture, and I have been in uh, that uh, position for so many years, and there's no promotion in my career, there's no progress in my life. And again, the prophetess of God spoke about marriage. Yeah, um, th th that is true. Um, Currently, I'm just living on my own. I'm not married. I hope by the grace of God, uh, I will find a wife very soon. And how are you feeling right now after the woman of God has spoken to you? Right now, I'm delivered. I'm free. I'm healed. All problems are gone. And you also got the opportunity to see Apostle on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was it? And what did he say to you? Um, uh, uh, Apostle uh, 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 Makanadisa, he told me that uh, I, I'm very weak, and that is true, uh, uh, because I'm having a, a, a diabetes. Uh, he played for me, and right now I'm healed. And how are you feeling right now in your body? Uh, right now I'm feeling, uh, uh, my body is, is light. Um, I'm healed. Amen. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Is I believe that God has done it for you today in Jesus' name. So what what what, what I can tell the viewers is that uh, we must trust God in everything. There is nothing that is impossible to God. Amen. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nita. I come from France. Uh, I confirm everything uh, that the woman of God has said. I think, um, yeah, she talked about a spiritual husband, which is uh, also a word I got here. She talked about uh, a sickness uh, in my belly. And then uh, she talked about also starting a business that didn't work. So she prayed for me, and I really believe uh, that, yeah, I'm free and that I'm stepping into my blessings. So, Let's go back. The woman of God started yes. speaking about the spiritual husband. Yes. Were you aware of that? I would say um, I was always fighting bad thoughts and trying to, to push it away, but it was always something coming back. And so it was really good to just, like, put a name to it and, and that it's exposed and rebuked. So. And she also mentioned that whatever that you are facing, it is a generational case. Were you away? And can you confirm that whether to be true or not? Um, I really didn't know. So, um, and that makes me actually angry with the devil because, yeah. So I didn't know and it's good to know now so I can talk with my family. But we, are then, we have been prayed for and I believe we are free from it. And the issue of business, were you starting? Were you thinking of starting any business? Yeah. So like I took many classes to start a business, uh, but I just couldn't find um, the energy or the time or the concentration to do it. So I, I created a business, but nothing really came out of it. So it's really true. Everything is so true, and I really believe God will open doors for me there as well. The prophetess of God went also to speak about you going to the doctor, mm -hmm. what did the doctor say? They said like, oh, we, so we did like radio, everything, and they said, we really can't find anything, so yeah, just try to drink more water or whatever. And, but I still had a pain, even when I was walking, I had some pain. And uh, it was just great that she could pray for me because now I know I, I will not have the pain anymore. And you also got the opportunity to attend a service with us on Wednesday. How was the experience? It was great. Uh, it was really well organized and structured and uh, everyone got prayed for. I really liked how structured it was and how we could have intercession and then the message, the word of God, and then the deliverance. So I really liked how you guys do it here. It was great.
and you also got the opportunity to see Apostle JB on one-on-one -on -one -on -one session, few steps away from you. I believe you'd see him on YouTube delivering other people, but today it was a different day that the Lord has made. How was the experience according to you, and what did he say to you? It was a great experience. Uh, I think he's so anointed, so it was great that he could explain the source of the problem, where it comes from, and he could just say, and this stops now. And so just like putting an end to all the years of suffering or questions or whatever. I just really liked his openness and he's very humble. And um, yeah, it was a blessing for everyone that came. And I think what touched me the most is like um, the joy in people in the end. How are you feeling right now after he prayed for you and the woman of God have prayed for you? I feel great. I feel um, the gift of the Spirit manifesting like this in the church is amazing. And I just pray that we will have it more in all our churches. And if not, then everyone can come here. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there as I believe that God has done it for you in Jesus' name and all that generational curse has been broken by the anointing that is in, in this place in Jesus' name? Um, yeah, God is faithful and um, don't hesitate to come and have a deliverance. It's really worth it. My name is Mark Peter Soma. It's my first time to be here. And uh, I just want to confirm the prophecy to be true. Why it's saying it's true? Yeah, because what every, what every thing that the prophetess has said is true, because uh, she has said about my my family. Um, uh, issues concerning about the church, uh, encouraging me, and what God uh, was saying uh, that I should uh, be careful with people who come doing this and that, convincing me, maybe um, encouraging me to turn against my pastor and my church and he stopped supporting, so I confirm it to be true. Let's break it down. The woman of God started saying that you have a desire yeah. to work for God. It is, is it true? Amen. Mm -hmm. True. And the woman of God also said that uh, right now, between you and your wife, those people who are distracting you yes. from God, they yes. are also affecting your marriage. Is it true? What was really happening in your marriage? Uh, I should say uh, it's, it's a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual battle because the way she has expressed it and the way I've seen it, it's like that uh, it's a spiritual battle whereby uh, normally it's not physical as such, but it's spiritual because like... like uh, uh, tormenting her in dreams, even giving me bad dreams. So as I combine the two, uh, I confirm it to be true. Sure. And she also spoke about uh, the people who are around you trying to tell you that uh, you, your pastor is having a jealous of you. Yeah. Is it true? Have they came to you and told you that? Yeah, I confirm it to be true. Uh, in fact, uh, people talk, people say a lot of things, but um, um, really, I, I may confirm it to be true. And so. the woman, of course, said that you must be careful because it will make you to have a ministry which is not supposed to be there. Were you thinking of going to open a ministry? I should just thank God for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meaning you were thinking of opening the ministry? Um, uh, to be honest, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. since she's a prophetess, whatever she says, um, I should confirm because she knows even whatever I may think. Mm -hmm. She's a woman of God, mm -hmm. so I should respect her. 
sure to be true. Sure. And you also got the opportunity to see Apostle on one-on-one -on -one sessions. Yes. How was the experience? Wow, it was marvelous. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. What did he say to you? Yes, uh, he was talking about the impartation. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, he also said something concerning about my wife, that I should also be strong in the Lord. I should also be prayerful, always. Yeah, and I should also love my church and support my church as well. So, so. the same thing that the prophetess has told you, yeah. it is the same thing that the man of God has Very told true. you. Very true. How were you true. feeling? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, Amen. but I'm very happy and glad to be here. Yes. What are the words of encouragement that you can yeah. give to the viewers out there, especially to servants of God? Mm. What can you say to them? You spoke a powerful point when I asked you about opening a ministry mm. that it is not supposed to be there. And you said, you thank God, yeah. meaning it was God who sent you to be here in order for you to go according to his Definitely. rightful ways. Definitely. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other servants of God out there who think that they don't need another man of God to confirm whatever that they're hearing from God? Amen. What can you say to them? I would, I, would like to go, uh, I would like to encourage the viewers that whenever you're serving God, trust men of God. Even your pastor, even your fellow elders, um, never castigate them. Uh, be on your guard. Always rely on God. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much. We give glory to Jesus for our life. We Amen. believe that as you are here, you shall do what God wants you to do. And as the woman of God has said it and declared unto your word, that as you shall continue being faithful the way you were, yes. you were before, God shall yes. reward you. And we believe yes. that one day you shall come telling us that God has rewarded you in Jesus' name.